Hello everyone, as I have promised, I have started to create a tutorial series about Octopus. Here I am going to teach you how you can use it properly and efficiently, since Octopus is not just a simple pie menu but an entire framework, there are many possible ways how you can speed up your workflow. As you may know, every single button on an Octopus menu can handle 96 different actions using a well structurized and designed system. But how is it possible? Well, it's really simple. First of all, you can bind four different actions under a single Octopus button. A short left click, a short right click, a long left spinner and a long right spinner click. You can use eight different buttons under a single menu, which are 32 different actions under a single Octopus menu. Also, you can use Octopus friends to easily switch between two other menus, the main menu, the top and the bottom menus. So overall there are 96 different actions which you can use under a single hotkey. 48 single and 48 spinner actions. Each spinner action can handle 3 different parameters. Also there are many other things which can make your job easier, like the repeat loss functionality and Chronos micro recorder system. In this series I'm going to teach you how you can use the Octopus Manager, how you can create your own custom menus by adding simple short click actions. And later I'm going to show you how you can create your own spinner buttons, which I think is the most powerful part of the entire system. Also I'm going to show you how you can customize the behavior of your menus, like how to set up Octopus Friends and why is it better to use Holden Release. Also we'll talk about the command editor at the end and a bit about how to make your own menus look cool and informative to find everything you want under a fraction of a second. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick intro and I hope that you're excited to learn such a powerful tool. Cheers and happy modeling!